Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to the Spring Fling. Yes, I was tagged by Anita at YOH Crochet, who is hosting a major host of our Amagurumi Wars. So I really appreciate the tag. I rarely get tagged for anything for some reason. But, um, and this is one I thought I would do because everybody looks forward to spring, no matter where you are in the world. So for me, if you don't know who I am, I'm Judy and I live in the far north Queensland, um, Australia, which is the tropics 90% of the year. So winter for us is probably a couple of days in June or July, depending on when it feels like putting its head in and saying hello and giving us a couple of cold days. And then towards the end of July, we sort of get a spring through August, September. So July, August, September, where I live is usually inundated with tourists because it's the best weather. So there are 10 questions that have been listed that I need to answer. So let's get started. Uh, what do you like to do in spring that you can't do at other times of the year? For me, it would be getting out in the garden. Um, most of the year, it's too hot and too humid. And during spring, it's the best time. It's not too cold. It's not too hot. It's nice and breezy and sunny and the mosquitoes have gone on holidays. So yes, I like to get out in my garden and potter around. Number two, what is your favorite springtime flower? Well, living in the tropics, I've had to adapt. I've always liked roses because my mother liked the yellow rose and my dad used to grow them. So living in the tropics, I guess my favorite would be the desert rose. And hopefully I'll be able to put a picture at the end so you can have a look at it. I would really like to get the really dark, deep red um, desert rose that's almost black, but they're very rare. And when you do see them, they're expensive to buy. However, having said that, I also like to see my dragon fruit flower. They flower overnight. The moon causes them to open up and they have big flowers and by the morning and the next day, they're on the way out. But I do like those too. And hopefully I've got a, a photo at the end of my dragon fruit flower. Uh, number three, what is your favorite thing about spring? The cooler weather, the cooler, pleasant weather. Like some people say, oh, 25, that's a bit cold or a bit hot, depending where you live in the world. That is the perfect temperature in the tropics, 25 with low humidity, 25 Celsius. So yes, the weather, um, is my favorite thing about spring. The older I get, the less I like the hot. I do like the really cold, but I'm happy when it's spring here. Uh, what is the weather like in your area? Well, I think I've talked about that. 90% of the time, it's hot and humid, and during the wet season, it's raining. So on the weekend, just gone, the Sunday, Monday, we had 400 millimeters of rain in two days and then it's now Thursday and it rained again last night but it's wet season it's going to rain and it's not like you cold windy rain in the northern hemisphere you go outside and it's hot and then when it stops raining the humidity explodes to about 98 percent so it's hot rain hot weather When do you start gardening if you have one? Yes, I have a garden. I like to grow all sorts of things. Fruit, um, veggies, uh, you name it. My garden's a bit of a mishmash. It's not, um, what would you say they call it, landscaped. It's whatever I've put in. And um, I, in the tropics, you have to adapt to the area. Otherwise, you're just going to have a lot of palm trees and a lot of ferns. But you you know, I watch Gardening Australia, which is a show on one of our television stations here that's been going for 
so many years probably the longest one in the country this tv show and there are always tips on what to grow in the tropics so yeah i've learned a lot of them but i do like getting out in my garden garden and i also like sitting out in my garden and knitting and crochet and enjoying the birds and the butterflies um do you celebrate easter is that religious celebration or just easter yes we celebrate easter in the sense that we exchange a few gifts but it's usually just the immediate family um, it can be chocolate it can be lollies it can be funny things um, usually with the boys and my son in london i might get something delivered by amazon for easter so he still feels part of the family we um may have a special meal but we don't attend church not that sort of celebration um usually pretty quiet once we moved over to this side, eastern state side of the country away from our families in the west it became it's more of a family thing here so it's just our small immediate family do you crochet or knit on anything special for spring not really, because most of my year I have to do things that are lightweight. There are so many beautiful heavyweight things that I'd like to do. And I tend to make a few for myself for when I go to the Northern Hemisphere, such as cowls or scarves or hats for thing. And my son in London won't wear them. He's um, far too designer conscious, we will say. Um, so not really, although... If someone's having a make-along or cow, I'm usually checking it out. I think it, one of the best ones I enjoyed was, it was Kerry Penny. Is she the happy crafty homemaker? Hope so. Put a link to her channel in below. She did like a spooky spring and I made a Jack Skelton tea cozy with flowers coming out of his head. It was very popular and well liked here. If I can find a photo of that, I'll put it at the end. And I'll make some lightweight shawls, mainly um, just like shawls come beach wraps that I can sell on my market store. Um, but I don't go out of my way to look for spring patterns. Um, what is your favourite colour in spring? Well, my favourite colour is orange and it's still orange in spring, closely followed by like an aqua blue because that's usually the colour of the ocean near where we live around that time of year. It goes a really aquiline blue. Like in the wet season, it's muddy and dirty because all the rivers run off into it. Um, things said the other day, after the weekend of massive rain, the beach is covered in river debris because there are two rivers either side of where we live that flow into it. And he said the, it's flushed the rivers and it's all washed up on the beach. So most of us who walk along the beach will pick up rubbish and stuff that shouldn't be down there and bring it back and put it in our bins. How a way of keeping our beach nice and clean and tidy. Um, do you spring clean? Not in spring. Well, I could maybe. I spring clean when I get this bug and... The boys and thing run for cover. They go, oh no, the spring cleaning bug has bitten her. It'll be when I'm not so busy at work and I've got time at home and I need to move around because I'm sitting around crafting too much. I suddenly decide I've got to clean that out. It'll be a kitchen drawer. Like on the weekend with all the rain, I decided I had to clean up my yarn stash and sort out what I was doing and I did that earlier in the year so no I don't just go it's spring I will do a spring clean I pretty much spring clean spasmodically throughout the year whenever the bug bites me um, do you go anywhere for spring break well for me with work I guess spring break is August, September. It's the quieter months at work and then it's when I take annual leave um, and go for four weeks to five weeks. In the past, before the um, COVID, I would go to the UK and see my son 
and then go off and do other things. That's why I've traveled so much in Europe. And during the COVID years, when traveling outside the country wasn't recommended, we just did some of our own state and, and explored our own state, Queensland, and we went to Victoria for three weeks and really enjoyed that. So generally, yes, I take a spring break because it's ideal for work time. This year, da -dun, da -dun, we're hoping to go to London and to the UK come August, September. It is exciting, but it's expensive to fly from Australia. More expensive than it used to be before COVID. We will see. Anyway, guys, that is my spring fling. And I thank Anita very much for tagging me and thinking of me. I'm supposed to try and come up with 10 people to tag, but a lot of people have done the spring um, fling tag. I have only have a couple for you, and I don't know if they've done it. I've had a look at their channels. I can't see where they've done it. So first off my list, I tag Michelle at Michelle's Makery in New Zealand. I'd really be interested in what her spring is like and um, the answer to her questions. And Abby at Blue Heart Crochet in the UK because I'd like to know what her spring is like. I usually arrive, I think, around spring or the end of no, the end of summer maybe. I don't know. That's when I'm usually up that way. But yes, they're my two tags. I cannot, for the life of me, think of others. When I think of them, I think, oh, they've done it. I check, they've done it. So yes, they're the two I'm tagging, but I am opening up the spring fling tag to anyone who would like to do it and tell us about the spring in their part of the world. I am really interested to see what you guys do in spring, whether you craft, crochet, garden, just sit back and relax. Anyway, that's it for me today. I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the answers to my questions. And let me know if you have a favourite thing you like to do in spring in the comments below. Take care. Bye for now. And fling into spring as soon as it arrives. Bye.